Hi everyone from Japan. <clears throat> Sorry I'm late. Apparently I haven't done this in a month or so and I forgot how everything works. So hopefully you guys are here. Hopefully you guys are watching. Hopefully I'm doing this right because if not it's going to be kind of silly. What the heck? So yeah, I um uh, I don't know what's going on here. Let's see if I go there. Does that help? Yeah, I um. Uh... All right. Hi guys. How's everyone doing? I see a bunch of people. Danny. Bunch of people in the chat. Jordan, you're welcome. Angelo, glad you like the fish. Uh, I mentioned a video I might go live from Japan, and Jordan asked me if I could uh, give you like a ten minute, give him like a ten minute warning. So I did. Hi, Rogue. Uh, hey, Kevin. Hi, everyone. Valley Fish. Hello. Uh, so I just got to Japan yesterday. It's five thirty in the morning here, Sunday morning. I'm looking out the window and. There's still people up from last night messing around. Sergeant Tank. Hello, sir. Uh, Sean wishes he could be in Japan. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Today, um, I'm taking about a two and a half hour drive south of Tokyo to go see my buddy's soccer team play. My other buddy, buddy's soccer team. Two guys I work with in the States who are from Japan. Um, both their teams are playing today. And... Uh, I decided, we decided to go see them, even though there might be a, a small typhoon. No big deal. Philip from Middlesbrough. Hello, sir. Yes, United, Steve. I'm wearing my, my jersey because they won yesterday, and I'm going to a game. And uh, uh, it's funny because the guy I'm going to the game with today, his name is, his American name is Pete. That's what I named him. Um, but he, uh, oh, sorry, Tyler. Hi. I didn't see you. Um, anyway, so Pete uh, <clears throat> lived in London for a little while when he was a young boy. And his favorite team are the Tottenham Spurs. And, of course, they played Manchester United and lost yesterday. So it's a great day for me. All right. What are we talking about? Aloha from Hawaii. Um, yes, it is a Manchester United shirt I have on Philip. So Brian Horn asks, what am I doing in Japan? I come to Japan twice a year just because, you know, I like the food. No, I um, I travel for work, so I'm here for work. I have uh, some presentations to give and some meetings to do uh, next week. And uh, IFG, what's up, brother? How you doing? You know, Tyler, I don't know why you have to be so nasty with that language. I can't even repeat it because I don't want to get demonetized. Uh, Harold, hello, hello. Uh, Master Vanderfish, Fish, I am going to do some fish store tours. There are two, potentially two stores I'm going to do. Who's this fish free guy with the moderns? Yeah, who is that Tyler guy? Um... I am going to do some fish store tours today. Uh, I plan to do one probably after the game, um, and I'll try to post it uh, tonight so you guys will see it your time tomorrow. Well, United States time tomorrow. Um, and then next week I'm going to the Tokyo Motor Show, and there's a fish store right near there. So um, I should be doing one there too. Yeah, I'm not going to say it, Tyler. Stop it. Fresh store. That's funny. Yeah, Brian loves IFG. I love his videos, too. Um, he's pretty funny, Evan, IFG. All right, guys, so what do you want to talk about? Um, hey, don't forget to like, comment, and share. Yes, I do get paid to indulge my fish hobby. Bro. I actually does have a, a, a wrench. Tyler, where you been at? Ha ha. Um, 
What are you guys want to talk about? Does my company say for no, not first class? I get to fly premium economy. Uh, the, my next promotion, I get to fly business class, which is plenty. So that'll be great. Uh, Eddie, my fish room is pretty much on uh, automatic. So um, it's auto water change, and my middle son will be feeding them every three or four days. I don't really, I don't really uh, need them to be fed anymore. Rogue wants to be a mod. Rogue, Rogue you have to uh, sort of, you know, pay for it. <laughs> I'm still torn about separating my male and female guppies. You know, if you have the time and the space, Brian, that's best. But I don't, so I don't. Philip, I will be doing a pistos. Don't worry. Max, I'm in Japan now, buddy. Uh, and the flight over was okay. A little bouncy coming in because of the weather, but uh, you know, it's a 14-hour flight. What are you gonna do? Yeah, Jordan, I, I stopped streaming uh, for a couple reasons. One, I just really didn't have time, and two um bob you know wanted his time spot back his his spot back he probably would have let me had it if i uh if i wanted it but you know i don't really like streaming so yeah let's see i don't know if you saw i got some fry for the oh nice mimi heart nine black molly fry is fantastic did you get any layer tail molly fry i didn't see by the way if you buy fish for me and post a video, just, you know, tag me or, or let me know so I know. I try to watch uh, all my subscribers, but sometimes, you know, I'm just busy and I don't get around to it. All right. Robert has a question. I have a 10-gallon shrimp tank with copods, and I put ram fry in his tank. And I put ram fry in his tank as first fry food. I don't know what that, Robert, I don't understand your question. Are you asking if the ram fry can be fry food or are the copods fry food? Yo, Mike, I found any fish stores you haven't toured yet. Oh, yeah, IFG. There's plenty. I've toured most of the big ones in the area of Tokyo I'm in. But um, there are definitely more. And I'm driving like two and a half hours south. Yeah, united all day. Thanks, Steve. First super chat of the chat. Um, so IFG, yeah, there are plenty of fish stores, and um, I'm going to see one today and one probably next Saturday, and uh, we'll see what else I have time for. Rogue, I don't. <sighs> all right, let's vote. Should I make Rogue Aquatics a mod? Yes or no? Let me know. Brian says, my wife went home. It was supposed to be purple mosquitoes, but the males are coming out blue. Not for you, by the way. Yeah, sometimes they come out blue. Uh, mine are like a deep, dark blue or purple, depending on the light. Why can't people from the UK buy fish from the US? I suppose they can if you'll pay for shipping and somebody will you know, work out all the trans shipping and stuff but all right well max says yes master says yes keep out the idiots all right rogue rogue post so i can uh make you a mod uh oh kevin votes no too bad <laughs> yeah jordan i know All right, boom, Rose Mod. nobody else ask. HC Aqua, what am I doing in Japan? Uh, I work for a company that lets me travel to Japan twice a year for business, so I'm here for business. I'm making some presentations and uh, have some meetings and blah, blah, blah. What a, how many people are watching? How come I can't see how many people are watching? You think I'd be able to see that from all my how come I forgot how to do this? It's been like forever. Hey! Jason from Jadron Aquatics. What's up, buddy? 42 people. Thanks, Mimi Hart. <laughs> no, Kevin, your vote didn't work. <laughs> 
Funny Nisi, very funny. Nisi is the super mod. If you don't know, Nisi is a super mod. She's a mod for all the Fish Fram channels. She helps promote everybody. She's fantastic. Jason is shopping with the wife, so he's paying attention to me. Yay! Richard Rocks brings up a good point. 43 people watching, but only 19 likes. How about we smash that thumbs up button, guys? And hey, if you haven't shared, go ahead and share or, you know, tell all your friends. Tell your mom, your father, grandparents. You know, everyone. Everyone! All right, what else should we talk about? So it's raining. It's supposed to rain all day today. I'm going to a, a soccer match. They call it soccer here, not football, which is interesting. But um, I'm going to a soccer match about two and a half hours south of here. We're taking my buddy's car, which is nice. We don't have to lug our luggage on the trains and stuff. <laughs> Let me know when you get your website up and running. My husband doesn't have time to watch videos for this. Yeah, so... Um, Discus Newbie, if you don't know who he is, check out his channel. If one of my mods can link his channel in the stream. He uh, helped me with the website. That's what he does. Oh, Adam just got home. Nice. I fell asleep. So the match was 7.30 Eastern time. I don't know what time it was in, in England. But uh, uh, what am I talking about? Oh, soccer match. So the match was at 8.30 at night here, but I had just been up for 24 hours. So I watched the first half streaming. Um, and at halftime, I fell asleep because I woke up and my iPad was all cattywampus like three, four hours later. And so I missed the goal. Anyway, uh, how's Rich Rich's Fishes? Jordan Rich is doing well. We talk quite often. Uh, he's really into barbecuing and hunter. Hunter. Weber grills right now. I don't know if he's ever going to get back to YouTube for his fish channel. Sorry, guys. All right, let's talk about Americans only call it soccer because it's good. Yeah, yeah. Americans do, but here in Japan, they call it soccer too. Anywho, let's talk about my website. So, uh, Discus Newbie uh, helping me make a website. If you guys um, want a website for your channel or for your e store or whatever, He's very reasonable as far as pricing is concerned. Very easy to deal with. Uh, hit him up on uh, Facebook. Graham. Can't remember his last name. Nisi, can you link his Facebook page, please? Um, can't remember his last name. But yeah, hit him up on Facebook. He'll help you design one. He'll, he'll do most of the work. Obviously, you got to do some things yourself, but... He's fantastic. All right. Uh, oh, LFC. Rogue, who's in England, says he's going to LFC uh, quarterly auction. But I sort of, LFC is Liverpool Football Club also. And I'm like, what? Oh, but it's local fish club. Sorry. And if you know anything about football, if you're a United fan, you can't like Liverpool because they suck. All right. Sorry. Anyone else in the chat play Australian rules football just to make the football chat more? No, stop it, Jordan. Stop it. Max, yes, my favorite type of fish is guppies. Um, angels also were a big favorite of mine, but I've been getting kind of bored of them in my fish room, and I've been selling off all my angels. Um, once I'm sure my koi angels are healthy, I will sell those off as well and not have any more breeding angels, just have angels in, uh, in my show tank upstairs, to be honest. Um, I'm looking forward to start breeding Apistos. That'll be my next, you know, breeding project. I do have three, um, I do have two trios of Apistos or two pairs of Apistos. Now I'll probably be getting one more and, um, I'm going to set up a special breeding rack for just Apistos as you probably saw in my latest video. Anthony Regan in the house. A bunch of people just joined New York Gold. JW's here. Yeah. So what else? What else do you guys want to know about? Which Apisto species? I have uh, Cockatoides, Orange Flash, and Double Red. I don't know what else I'm going to get.
Me too, Anthony. Anthony. I don't abuse the Nisi superpower. I don't know if you can abuse her. I mean, I guess suppose you can, but she's superwoman. She can handle a lot. Jason, I am on, not on uh, the hotel's Wi-Fi. I, I bought a, a bought, I rented a pocket Wi-Fi device, and uh, that's what I'm using. Why? How's the how's the uh, stream? Is it okay? It gets harmful to newborn gut before Floyd. I don't think so. No. Um, Floyd ask is Ickex harmful to newborn guppy frat? I mean, I wouldn't. Yeah, it is Graham Kerr. Oh. All right, stand by. I have to get Graham's info. Graham Kerr. Stand by. Be right back. Gotta help my brother out. Okay, I know I missed a bunch of stuff because I'm. Um, all right, boom. Stream is smooth on my end. Thanks, New York Gold. All right, so where are we going? Oh, Tyler, you just gotta go. You can't watch the whole thing. I see how you are. Oh, Jaden, Jaden asked is really good. Okay, yeah, thanks. Um, yeah. So Wi-Fi here is it's weird because with all the technology and all the stuff in Japan. Wi-Fi, not only is it not free everywhere, but it isn't everywhere. So we have to rent these wi pocket Wi-Fi's to have to take with us. Um, it's dark outside. You want to see outside? I'll show you outside. Let's see. It's probably going to be crappy because it's on my phone, but that's Shibuya down there. Uh, you can see all the people walking, and there are still cars out, and... Looks like a couple stores are still open, which I don't remember them being open this late the last time I was here, but maybe that's because it wasn't Sunday morning. It was during the week. I don't know. So, yeah, that's Tokyo. You can hardly see anything because of, the, uh, because of the, the fog and clouds. So, all right. Hope you guys like that. I don't know how the picture was. <sighs> All right, what am I doing here? There we go. What else? Everyone's asking where in Japan. Oh, Brian, I'm in Shibuya in Tokyo. Max wants to know if I can make a video about nebula steels. I have a couple of videos on them, Max. And to be honest, it really isn't enough to make a whole video. It's just a small tank with a couple fry. Hey, Jordan, you know I'm from Finland, right? Is that why you're saying that? I can't tell. Um, all these epistogramma people are bringing out epistogrammas. Epistogramma Killery. Killery? Worth a look at. I'll, if I can find them, I'll take a look, definitely. JW, when you want copies, just let me know. I'll hook you up. You know that. Um, Rogue wants to know who made my intro. Uh, Daniel Anderson from... Hypnotic Aquatics made my intro. Pink pastels to Max, one video for one species. There really isn't a lot. Um, so are you keeping the sortos and planties or weeding those? No, I'm, I'm still keeping those guys. I'm, I mean, if you want them, let me know. I'm sure we can work something out. But no, I'll be keeping them. Sortos kind of grow on me. Um, They've grown on me a lot since I've started, but New York Gold, is it possible to get fish from Japan to New Jersey? Anything's possible depending on how much money you want to pay. Um, but I've been contemplating figuring out how to bring fish back. So maybe my next trip I'll do that and we'll see how that goes. Pink pastels. Oh, Angelo just got them. Yeah. Yeah, Angelo. I tell you what, though, that purple delta you got is fan. That might have been one of the best fish in my fish room. Master of Anna Fish, how long have you had your channel? I've been actually making videos for, I don't know, 17, 18 months or so. You think neon swords have a different personality than other swords? That's funny. I've never noticed that. 
Max, my favorite animal besides fish are dogs. Uh, I have two. I had three. One of them passed away, but um, yeah, I love my dogs. Jason says, how many of those weird Japanese box filters are you buying this time? I don't know how many I'm buying. Um, I may buy the same. I probably buy the same one because I really like them now. Um, uh, sorry, a super chat came up and I had to read it and now I'm all distracted. I'll talk about the super chat in a second. Um, but Jason, there are a couple other filters I may try. I'm going to see what the stores have and, and <clears throat> go from there. So uh, let's see, super chat. Roland Reyes, keep the channel going. Always a great watch. Thanks, Roland. I really appreciate it, buddy. All right. Jordan, buying any more Japanese box filters? Didn't we just talk about that? <laughs> They've intrigued me a lot since I used to use box filters years ago and recently managed to only get them shipped from China. Um, yeah, you know, when I first got the Japanese box filter last June, I was like, eh. And then as I was cleaning, I'm like, eh, it's a pain in the butt. But then I realized it's a pain in the butt, not a pain in the butt. It just gets really dirty because it sucks up a lot of stuff. Now, to be blatantly honest, I very rarely clean a sponge filter in my fish room. Um, seriously, like every couple, six months, maybe. Um, and that's because I change so much water that, that it doesn't really matter uh, that much for me. Um, but that other filter, the box, the Japanese box filter I got, that's, that wasn't a neon sword tail tank. Um, it's still in the tank, but there's not neon sword tails anymore. Um, it's a pretty good filter. I, I kind of really like it. Yeah, yeah. I did think they were a poop, Jordan. Um, all right, all right, all right. Remember to lightly tap the like button. I think you should smash it today. Young Spy, what are you doing in Japan? I came to visit you. No, uh, work. I'm here for work. I come twice a year, June and November. I have meetings in June and November, and we come to prepare a little bit early. What else? What kind of fish? Oh, oh, oh. What kind of fish would you bring back from Japan if you did? Guppies. John Carlisle, I would bring guppies back if I could. Maybe rice fish. Um, yeah, maybe rice fish too. Uh, Super Breeder Steve, one of my uh, local fish club buddies, asked for some rice fish eggs, and I'm going to try to find them. And um, But yeah, I, if I could easily bring fish back, I would probably bring rice fish and guppies. Um, I mean, if I was a goldfish guy, obviously that would be something cool, but... Don't break your screen. <laughs> uh, Peter De La Rey? Peter? Peter? Huh. Uh, I'm in Shibuya in Tokyo. Uh, what was my first video? Well, I made a video. I posted a video about a moving bed filter that I made because I put it on uh, Joey's forum. Monster fish keep no do it yours. I don't know do it yourself something because I wanted to see if it if It looked like it was gonna work and you had to post a in order to post a video You had to have it on some service and YouTube was what I knew so that's what I put it on uh, but my first video for the, the channel if you will was Probably a fish room, you know the building of the fish room um, what do I think of the balloon short-bodied sword tails? I don't know if I've ever seen a balloon sword tail. I've seen balloon platies or teacup platies or balloon mollies. Uh, they look freaky to me, so I don't really like them. It's a South African name. Ah, how do you say, is it Peter, like an American would pronounce it? How do you pronounce it? I don't want to uh, screw it up. Actually, in the U.S. right now, or are you doing fish store touring yet? Yeah, Young Spy, I am doing uh, fish store tourism. Hopefully, we'll do one today and one uh, next Saturday. You should try to get a hold of tricolored koi swordtails. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Any Australian fish you like. I don't know enough about Australian fish to know if I like them or not. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Ah, uh, Peter. Okay. All right, Peter. Mimi loves her balloons. Ah. Balloon what? Mollies or platies? 
Because I've never seen balloon sword tails before. Here we go. So really good. A picture <laughs> Epistogramma Elizabethy, super red. I've seen some pretty nice epistos here. Uh, when are you visiting Africa? When my company sends me there, Peter. Uh, hey, and Brian, uh, is there any other types of libraries you plan to try? Um, probably not. Um, I do guppies, platies, mm, swords, and mollies now. There are obviously a couple other ones, but no, that's that's probably it for now. I have seen balloon ram cichlids. Don't like them either. Jordan says, I think they look interesting, but I don't like the idea of breeding in the balloon deformities. Yeah, that's the whole... Um, no tank, bro, you can't be a moderator. Sorry. Jordan, you're right. What are my opinions about inbred guppies? What do you mean? I mean, every almost every guppy... guppy, guppy? Stand by. Almost every guppy colony has inbred guppies. So, um, I mean, it's just a fact of life. I don't, as long as you, after, you know, a few generations, you switch them, you'll be fine. And it's more than a few. It's probably like eight or nine or 10 generations. You got to add some new. <laughs> you did tell me, Jordan. Uh, you got to add some new genetics. Why isn't my computer charging? Oh, that's why. What the heck? I'm like, it's plugged in, but it's not. See, you have to. There you go. Now we're charging. Sorry, technical errors. What else you want to talk about, folks? 51, 52 people watching, only 41 likes. Oh, the sun's starting to come up. Well can't really see the sun, but it's getting lighter out, so. Hi, you. You in Japan again for work? What do you do? Lee Rod says, uh, hey, Corona Ken. Thanks for stopping by. So, um, where are we at? What are we talking about? Why am I in Japan? Yes, I'm in Japan again for work. I work for um, Subaru Corporation, which is the people that make Subarus for Subaru of America, and I'm, I work in quality assurance. All right, let's see. It's okay to bring back the fish you bought in Japan. I haven't bought any fish in Japan, young spy. Most strains of guppies that breed true are usually highly inbred. Yes, that's true. I mean, how many times for safe for my girl gups to breed? How many times is safe for my girl gups to breed? Do you mean breed or drop fry? Uh, Max says, what are some things that we don't know about you, not your animals? Um, I, dude, I've been doing YouTube for about 18 months, and, and I'm pretty open and honest, so you probably know a lot about me. I have three kids. I'm married. I live in South Jersey. Love Manchester United. Um, don't watch American sports for the most part. Used to be a Yankee fan. Would support the Yankees now. Had a little go with IFG because they were playing his Astros in the championship series. Um, I like cheesesteaks. I like food. Pizza and tacos are my favorite. I don't know. Ask me some questions. Okay. Where are we at? How long are you staying in Japan? 13 days this time, young spy. I do have a tattoo, Jordan, yes. And I would like more. Um, can I put sword tails with guarmies? Can I put Mr. Chestel Gaming? Can I put sword tails with guarmies? Yeah, I don't see why not. Sword tails can be a holes though, so <laughs> yeah, Jason, that's true. I'm beginning to think that uh, there's some mold in the basement, but we have to check it out. I have, Mimi says, have you ever made a taco pizza? I haven't made one, but I've had it, of course. Max, I can't dance for you, no. Um, what else were we, oh, drop, so you were talking about how long can they drop fry? I mean, it depends, it depends on a lot, the health of the fish, you know, all that stuff, but I mean, I've had guppies drop fry for two years, or 18 months now, so. 
probably until they die would be my guess mike i'm now on four tattoos got my first year ago it's almost yeah it is um the problem is, and here's something you don't know about me, Max. I got my tattoo without telling my wife, and that was a problem. When you get married, you'll see that. Um, but uh, my tattoo has my two older son's names in them. I don't have a tattoo with my youngest son, and he's asked at least twice about that. He's, he'll be six next week. I'll be here. Um, so I, I want to get three lightsabers here. Let them pick their colors with their names in it. That's what I want next. Why is it called the World Series when only U.S. baseball teams playing in it? Because it's the best teams playing in it. Um, and the teams might be American, but the players are international. I don't know why. It's because, you know, us Americans, everything is all about us. Farmers will eat the sword till fry, and the male sword toast may decide that Warmi is a female sword. JW got two tattoos, got my first at 16. Nice. Um, yeah, back to the sword tails and guarmies, it's, it's weird because, um, sword tails, a lot of people don't realize, but they could be aggressive. They can be aggressive. Any collection trips in Japan? Oh, I don't know. Apartment aquariums. I like the name apartment aquariums. Um, I don't know if there are collection trips here. I don't usually have time for that while I'm here. Um, I am lucky this trip in that I get uh, a weekend and a half extra um, because it's a long story why. But anyway, today is essentially uh, an off day for me. So we're going to go by Rogue. Um, we're going to go to a football match, a soccer match. Um, but other than that, I only have a weekend, usually one weekend where I'm not working. So I don't know if there would be any collection trips like that. How often could guppies possibly drop fry? Every like 21 to 28 days, they'll drop. Usually they'll drop fry. And if you're not seeing them drop fry, there's a couple of things that could be the problem. The water might not be hard enough. Um, or they're eating them. That's usually the two things I find with my guppies if I'm... If I don't see fry, so. All right, Jordan just posted a big thing. What does it say? Hi, uh, haha. My dad has my name on his entire forum. My other sisters weren't amused. You're the favorite child. Yeah, probably. I don't have a favorite child. I love them all. Yeah. All right. If you have time, you should go Sumida Aquarium. You know, I was in Sumida last time I was here, um, and I went to two fish stores. No, one fish store in the mall under Sky Tree. Um, and we planned to go to the aquarium and we just didn't have time, but maybe next weekend I'll go. I heard it. It's pretty amazing. Connor says, have you ever kept the wild strain of guppies or will you be interested in keeping them in the future? I haven't. And I haven't, I'm really not interested, you know, being the honest guy that I am, I breed fish for profit and wild type guppies aren't very colorful and most people don't want them. So uh eddie yeah i'm i'm gonna get at least one more of the japanese box filters i already have uh and probably a different kind to try it out and see what it's like so we'll see what's going on there only 49 people watching hey share this talk to all your friends i know it was kind of a, an impromptu stream but jordan asked if i would let people know and i had some time now so Sean, have you been outside of Tokyo? They have some good fish stores in Nagana and Sendai that I went to. I have been out of Tokyo, but I haven't found any real nice fish stores out of Tokyo. I go up to um, Guma every time I'm here, and there's nothing up there. Um, so, And I've been south of Tokyo at some of the, the touristy spots. but All right, I'm missing some stuff. Stand by. Jaden. Bye, Jason. Bear Bottom. Sorry if I keep asking the same question. Just want this one answers. How do you keep the blue diamond strain strong? Do I need source a whole new group, or can you breed first gen? You can breed them. Yeah, no problem. I, I've had those blue diamonds for well over a year just doing their thing in there. The key to keeping strong guppies is making sure the water is hard enough for them and has enough uh, minerals in it and uh, feeding high-quality food. That's, that's pretty much all I do. 
what is my favorite strain of guppy? I would say my favorite strain of guppy right now are my purple deltas, to be honest. Young Spy, what's different about a Japanese airstone? Um, yeah, my I sent Angelo a spectacular purple delta. Had a little yellow in its tail. I like the shape of its dorsal fin, and I'm kind of regretting sending it to him now. But those are my favorites right now, I think. I didn't know things in guppies are wild. They're not wild. I don't know what you're talking about. They have long fin neon treasure in your back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, JW, I saw those in Corey's first Japanese fish store tour video. Um, and I've seen them here. Uh, I don't know if I've seen them here, now that I think about it. But yeah, they're pretty cool. Jordan says, I need to send you a photo of one of my unusual guppy tail morphs. It's as if the tail race have grown off the end. Yeah, send it to me. Let me see. What's my, f I read that. What strain of guppy do you get most joy from breeding? Uh, what strain of guppy do I get most joy from breeding? I was pretty excited when the koi guppies dropped fry. I don't know that one strain of guppy. I mean, the steel nebulas were pretty cool because I bought them as fry. So I grew them out, and then they bred in my tanks. That was pretty cool. All right. Mm, are you going to stop by a koi farm? Michael Madrid, I'm not into koi, so no. Japanese airstone can make tiny, small, tiny bubbles. Really? I'm going to have to check those out. How many tanks are currently in your fish room? Connor Bishop, how many tanks are currently in your fish room? With water in them, 55. Uh, and then there's probably, an, I probably have an additional 20 without water. Planning for the upgrade. <sighs> Mr. Chestile Gaming, I want to make some really nice layer tail swords. I have some really nice layer tail swords for sale, too. You can make some with mine. Hi, CK the Asher. Do a mono shrimp live there? Live where? In Japan? Yes. Have you ever regretted selling a fish? Yes. Mark Reacher Richards. Yes, I have regretted selling some fish. But it's business, right? For me, it's a business. So, yeah, that happens. All right, I'm going to the bottom. J R J Ortiz, what kind of guppy would you recommend buying? It depends. What... What are you looking to do? Just have them in a community tank or breed them? If you're looking to breed them, what I recommend is what sells in your area. Uh, Jordan, what about the Tanaka maple leaf guppies? They're, they are not a favorite now that they've dropped fry. I've only seen one fry. Um, they're still a favorite. The the What were the other ones called? Jarwi Azulis? Those, that male is spectacular. Those are pretty cool. Those might be my favorite also. Can you have one of one favorite? Can you ship those sorteos to the Caribbean? Um, I suppose I could ship them to a U.S. Virgin Island once they get all back, back up to, uh, back working again. But, um, Mr. Chesteel Gaming, where in the Caribbean are you? Max wants to know the ideal guppy tank setup. I would take, I would take, Max, I would take a, a 20 gallon high, as much Java moss as you can fit in there with a sponge filter, and three females and one male. That's what I would do. Yeah, the Japanese blue, Jordan, that was a great buy on my part. I think. But yeah, they are great too. And some of them throw double sword tails, which is nice. Michael, when Priscilla asked the groups for a favorite fish, I gave her my top 10. You can have 10 favorites. All right, Nisi. I gave her guppies, of course. Um, thanks, Mimi. Enjoy parenting. Um, all right. So Priscilla. Yeah, I wish I could concentrate on things, but I can't. So Priscilla, as you know, she's a spectacular artist. Um, and she sent me, uh, a couple of her prints and one of them was a blue angel fish and it is 
spectacular. I opened it uh, in front of my wife because she wants to know what it was. And uh, she's like, she drew that? That's incredible. Go check out her e SD, SD store. Buy some prints. She's spectacular. Great, great, great artist. All right, Max, how do I manage the guppy waste? That's a good question. If you don't have an auto water change system like me, you're going to have to do water changes. And you're going to have to be careful not to pick up the fry. But to be honest, a lot of that mom uh, is good for the fish. They'll eat on it. What is the best fish you have ever bred? Define best. You mean what do I like? What was the best fish I bred or the fish I like most? What do you mean by best? All right. Mike, thank you, Nisi. Mm. Mike, based off the tiny air bubble comment previously, surely a ceramic CO2 diffuser would make tiny bubbles. I've seen those diffusers here, actually. I'm going to check it out when I go to the local fish store. Bare bottom aquariums. I move all my fry to my shrimp tank till I can get them not to be eaten. Nice. Yeah, Nisi has a good point. When you go to the Etsy store, leave a stellar review spectacular subarashi in japanese the fish that i like the best oh connor the fish that i liked the best i don't know uh, like i said i like breeding guppies for profit i'm into it for the money so i don't know Yeah, snails are great for fish tanks, JW. Um, I have snails in all my tanks. They, they do eat all the leftover food. Now, keep in mind, they eat the food and then they poop. And that poop is still waste, so. Um, what else? Glory, glory, man united. Good work, Kyle. Uh. Max, I just have what people call pest snails or common snails, but they work wonders. Um, I have to look at something. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. Ah, Madaka rice fish. Orange or red Madaka rice fish? I was asked to bring back. Hi, Susan. AMA, hello. Uh, Steve, my shop LED lights are fantastic. I bought three more before I left because I, um, I didn't want them to sell out and I'm going to need them for the new stand anyway. If I get back, when I get back, if there are more, I will definitely, definitely buy more. And probably put them all over my fish room because they're great. So Kyle says, I got my first pair of angels two nights ago, and they're already prepping to spawn on my heater. Ooh. Anything I need to make them use the slate? Take the heater out. <laughs> put the heater in a different spot. That might work. Is there a minimum size tank? Connor says, is there a minimum size tank you would read guppies in? Well, that's sort of a... Um, a loaded question because so I have an auto water change system so I can bring guppies in a five gallon tank and it's going to change 50% of the water I can set it to change 50% of the water or more every day but if I didn't have an auto water change system I wouldn't do it in less than a 10 hmm. hope that helps ever Jordan said hey Damon AMA ever thought about Achilles I've thought about him and decided I don't want to do them. Um, and the reason is I breed for profit. And it, in my area, there aren't many places to sell killifish. So unload, uh, selling them locally wouldn't be possible. I have to sell them all online or, you know, and I don't know that there's a demand for killifish online. So, <laughs> Mr. Michelle's take a while and you get lower water level because they're laying inside the water. Susan, actually, the storm has kind of petered out. It's just going to rain and wind only about 35, 20 to 35 miles per hour. 
later on today. So shouldn't be that as bad as we were thinking. Thanks for asking. They didn't breed by accident. They just breed. Um, so Susan asks, how's the, the storm? Because um, there's a typhoon coming. And yesterday before we left, the typhoon, the weather report reports that the typhoon is going to be bad in uh, southern Japan and Tokyo. But it, uh, it, seemed to, it seems to have petered out. All right. Jason from up above said, interesting, your cough is gone when you went to Japan. Yeah, Max. Maybe there's something in my basement. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta check it out. There could be some black mold, some more black mold down there. Most profitable guppy you sell. So profitable guppy online would be the black panda guppies. Profitable guppy um, to my local fish store. I don't usually sell anything other than the, my red blondes because he doesn't pay a lot, and I can sell them much more online. AMA, I showed the view if you were here before. Although it is light out now, so now you can see the view from outside. Let's take a look. There's the view from outside, from my window. Um, I'm in Shibuya. The train station is, is, I don't know if you can see that way, but yeah, that's Japan. That's Tokyo. All right. So now that I've showed that twice. What are we talking about? Uh, yeah, helps. Lie. I was thinking of starting a colony breed some RREA. Yeah, I have some RREA guppies, and um, hopefully they'll start breeding. I got them from Super Breeder Steve. How fast will a sword tail and a plotted colony take over a 30 gallon? Depends how much um, cover you have for the fry. Hi, Eric Fishman. How are you from Toronto, Canada? Um, no fish tanks in my hotel room, AMA. I'll be doing tours later and hopefully posting later today. DJ, I'm in Tokyo in Shibuya. That sky looks ugly. Looks like Japan is about to get, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to rain all day here today. Susan, I have been selling a lot of fish lately. I, I had the most orders I've ever sold in one week, last week. And uh, Wednesday before, uh, you know, as I was getting ready to leave, I, I had to had to get everything out so I could, you know, because I've been gone for two weeks. I have quite a few, quite a bit left. Um, to be honest, I'm running low on purple deltas and black pandas, but I have quite a few left. I'll have what you want when I get back. Don't worry. Fishman isn't even close to Toronto. Dude, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> Most profitable guppy strain I sell. Black panda guppies. Yeah, trying to be careful for that de demonization. All right. AMA, if you if you're going to keep going to Japan, you need to find a hotel that has a fish tank. Yeah. Um but I go to Japan for work, so I have to kind of stay close to where I can pick my hotel. But they um, kind of have to stay close to the office, you know, to make it easy. Uh, hi, Liberty Bell Cichlids. Connor, I have thought about breeding quarries. Um, it is in the medium term plans. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Uh, it is in the medium term plans to breed cores because I know I could sell those locally too. They also asked me to breed Gormies, but I just haven't really gotten around to figuring that out. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely be be uh, breeding. I should be breeding cores hopefully within the next year. Oh, internal parasite, Susan, that sucks. What are you treating with? Goldfish do destroy duckweed. It's the only reason I have a goldfish in my fish room is to eat duckweed. I'm sorry, Dwayne. I didn't realize you were streaming, buddy. I wouldn't have stepped on your toes. Please forgive me. Susan has peppered quarries. Please do a pun. What kind of pun? I'm not good at puns. General cure. You might need something stronger if you have to treat again, Susan. 
I don't know if you can get fenbendazole or levamisole, but I would try. I would try one of those again. If you can get the uh, guppy, uh, get the fenbendazole flakes from. I can't remember. That sucks. The one I just reviewed. <laughs> Thanks, Dwayne. Rain wait, wait, wait. What'd you say, Rainbow too? Rainbow fish eat duckweed. I've I've heard of Molly's eating duckweed too. My Molly's don't eat duckweeds, but duckweeds, duckweed, but I've heard of them eating. Let me know of any fish puns. Ha ha ha. DJ, um, it's funny you mentioned teriyaki burger because we went to a new burger shop near my office in New Jersey with my Japanese colleagues, and we were talking about Japanese burgers, and I asked my boss what's his favorite burger shop in Japan, and he said McDonald's. Now, his American name is Mr. Mac, so I think he was kind of joking, but then we talked, and I've never had a teriyaki burger from McDonald's, and I've been here like six, seven times, so. I'll be trying one of those probably this weekend. Okay. Where are we at? Oh. It wasn't the wet spot, Jordan. It was... Shucks. Somebody look at... I just did the review, fish food review, like a week ago. Oh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I can't remember. I suck. I'm old. It's not Aquapid's bare bottom. I love when Jason used to say that. Lee's Fish Room is a Man United supporter as well, as am I, as you know. Hello, hello. If you are only about, if you are only allowed to sell one guppies, market would be guppies. But one specific guppy, it would be Black Panda guppies. Teriyaki burger tastes awesome. Freaky fish. It wasn't Fish Freaks Plus. Although, I think eventually we'll be able to buy that food on his website, but it's not his food. All right, where are we at? Barbecue fries. You shake them up with barbecue seasoning in the bag. Freaking delicious. Where do you get those, DJ? If people like the intro. Oh. Uh, so, Max, who's a, a young man, made me a new intro and. Uh, I told him I would use it in one video to show it off for his hard work. And he wants to know if I'm going to use it for good. Probably not, Max. It's a little... We'll see. Let's see what happens. I don't have any reptile cichlids. I kind of want a turtle, but I kind of don't want a turtle. Um... Dina Edwards, Everything Aquatic. You're right, Susan. Thank you so much. I and mean, I'm sorry, Dina, if you're watching this. Check out Everything Aquatic. She has some fish food. She does sell fish, too. In fact, if you've watched JJ and Aquatics, his snakeskin guppies, he got from Dina. And they are spectacular. DJ, McDonald's has barbecue fries? I don't remember seeing that. I used to, my ritual before I left when I flew out of Narita Airport was stopping at McDonald's for breakfast. Because they have things there that they don't have in the United States. Like... The Mega Muffin, which was an Egg McMuffin with two eggs and bacon and sausage and cheese. Oh, it was delicious. Anyway, I'm going to check McDonald's out now. How could it be a nightmare getting a burger in Scotland? That's a decent burger. That sucks, Jordan, because burgers are fantastic. Connor says, do you prefer fine mesh or rough mesh? Then? That's a good question. To be honest, I've never thought about it. And now that I think about it, I do have a big fine mesh and a big not fine mesh. Huh, that's interesting. I don't know. I, I, I've never I've never uh, I've never thought about it, but I'm going to take a look. So Rutu says Japanese McDonald's tastes better than US, right? No. It tastes the same. That's the whole thing about McDonald's. I tell you what, they don't know how to cook bacon in Japan. It's all Flappy. DJ says, I was all over Japan and Okinawa. Hope I get back to go someday. I'm going to have to check it out, dude. Thank you. Why is Jason's call channel called J Drin of Ox? I don't know. Ask him. I don't know why. Only allowed to sell one fish. What would it be? I just told you, dude. 
ate the most McDonald's I've ever had in Canada. It was just better quality. Really? Hmm. Thanks, Angelo. I appreciate it. All right, guys, it's about time to go. I've been gone for almost an hour. So if you have any other questions, ask them, and I'll try to get to them. Flaccid bacon. That's a good way to explain it, Brian. Flaccid bacon. It's just kind of raw. But they do everything like that here. So, Yeah, get that new tank. JW's four away from 400. Go check out his channel. Mike, I think I spoiled myself. I had one amazing burger. Right now. Yeah, Jordan, that sucks when that happens. Um, but strangely enough, I've had really good burgers here in Japan. It's kind of one of my things also I love for burger shops. Um, Japanese McDonald's used to do fries with chocolate sauce on it. I've seen that, Connor. Um, it was chocolate sauce and sweet bean paste, I think, or plum paste maybe. I didn't try it. Angelo food is good in gen in general, but not Canadian food. Although poutine, mm -hmm. and I've never had smoked meat either. I gotta get try me some smoked meat up there. Really rare bacon, Jordan. Ah, uh, uh. -uh. Yeah, Sean. The, it's not just Narita Airport. It's everywhere in Japan. It's just flaccid. <laughs> uh. DJ, yeah, catch it. I I'll just kind of babble. You know, like some people do do live streams and they have a topic. I just kind of babble. Yeah, Sean and Connor, they do have seasonal things all over Japan, but McDonald's also. Uh, a year ago, they had some pumpkin fry or something. It's kind of weird. Fishman, Eric, yeah, I will be doing some. Uh... I will be using some tours. Why is this shirt going to get me demonetized, Damon? Babble can be a topic. Um, a aquatic channel talking about McDonald's. <laughs> An aquatic. Yeah, Max, you're new here, but we talk about all kinds of stuff. I'm a foodie, so I always talk about food. Thanks, DJ. I do try to interact. It's it's. I like talking with you guys. Um, you know, you're you're the reason why. Not the reason why I do it, but because of you guys, I I'm a, I kind of can. Do, why am I babbling? Because of you guys, you know, I get to do what I do. Uh, Biggies, I didn't. I don't send the hoodies, but I'll send you a stick. Send me a, an email. Biggies, and I will send you a sticker when I get back from Japan. Uh, Damon is sorry, man. Terrible shirt. Somebody ban him. I'm going to ban him for 15 seconds. Put using a timeout. Boom. Don't be talking about my team like that. Sean, I don't care where you're from. I can talk. I could talk about food every, anytime. Jordan, I thought about a second channel, but I don't have enough time for my own for this channel the little on a second food channel really crispy all right peeps my time is done it's 6 32 in the morning here in tokyo and uh i think i'm gonna go so thanks for hanging thanks for stopping by hope everyone liked it somebody disliked the stream I'm going to guess it was Damon, you silly goose. Uh, Brian, if I ever get to Hawaii, I will try. Oh, Brian, what's the burger chain from Hawaii that's come to Japan? We talked about it when we were talking about burgers, and I think I'm going to go there too. Burger chain, I don't know. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Hope everyone stays cool and uh, do something fishy today. Bye.